Could you imagine owning this mansion, coming home, seeing it tagged like this with people living in it and being told there is nothing you can do? Well, this is what happens in California. So listen up, let's get started and we'll tell you all about it. Look at it now. Gets a one-two punch from outsiders. First squatters moved into the abandoned building. A couple of weeks ago, taggers cover the white walls with graffiti. Oof. Fox 11 Susan here is soon joining us live now from Hollywood Hills. What an update there, Susan. Well, Christine, it's not like the city didn't know about this abandoned property. You see here that Building and Safety put up a chain link fence and it's covered in wood. There's lots of signs that say do not enter. But a tagger came back to the scene of the crime today and told me that word about this property went out last night and by night's end, barely a space was left open of this abandoned mansion, all covered in graffiti. Once a 9,700 square foot celebrity estate, today a graffiti covered wreck. Could you imagine living next door to that? And if beauty is in the eye of the beholder, nearby residents are not fans. I love graffiti. I love art. I just don't love it on the house. The property has apparently been a problem for a couple of years. Once renters like Mary J. Blige moved out, the house was pretty much abandoned. Well, at least two, three years that we know it's been empty. They tried to uh, find the owner. I said they couldn't. And, and then they finally did, and he doesn't want to have anything to do with it. The owner is John P. Middleton, the son of John Middleton, owner of the Phillies baseball team. And the property is already well known to the city of Los Angeles and Councilwoman Nithya Raman. She sent Fox 11 News a statement that reads in part, This owner is in egregious violation of the law, and we are elevating the issue with the abandoned buildings unit at the Department of Building and Safety to ensure that the fullest extent of enforcement is being implemented urgently and swiftly. Despite some initial efforts to secure the property, people were inside Thursday night. How many people were in there? At least 20 to 30 people at a time. No way. Yeah, all headlamps and it was it was dope. It was a, it was a cool, cool experience. You never yeah. seen nothing like that, you know? That from a tagger who shared video from inside the home. I do it to, to blow the mind, make the mind wonder like, how'd they get in there? How'd they get up there? I mean, yeah. that, that's my hope already. Just to keep the mind wondering, you know? This is a neighborhood where celebrity home tour vans regularly pass on Mulholland Drive. And it didn't take long for us to find our own celebrity, Hollywood composer Magnus Fines. It's become a bit larger than it should be. Uh, and there doesn't seem to be much concern for the, for the safety and the well-being of the neighbors, I'd say. Well, if you're a graffiti fan, you might recognize some of the work on this mansion and even on this wood wall. That's because a lot of the same crews that came here last night also did their work at the graffiti towers in downtown L.A. Reporting live in the Hollywood Hills, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News. So can the city take this over? I mean, technically, I think the city has taken it over, as is evidenced by their efforts by building and safety to at least secure the property. But residents had told me that first a chain link went up and people got over that, and then there was a lock that was cut. So clearly, when you want to get inside, you can get inside, especially taggers. They'll get chased away by police. Same story with the graffiti tower. Then they just come back. It's so like kind of a professional operation going on there. All right, Susan. So what do you think about this? What are your thoughts? Um, please share in the comments. Let us know how you're feeling. And please remember to subscribe and like. And thank you for joining us. We really appreciate your support.